Okay. Well, here we are with uh, Nayad. Nayad. Um, I think it's a, it's a game where you're uh, you play as like a mermaid or something in 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 a in a river or a lake, and uh, yeah, this is one of the demos that I just couldn't let slip by. So I'm recording this offline. I streamed pretty much every night the last week. We did some co-op demos on Saturday morning. It's now Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, geez. And uh, there were just a couple that I really, really had to get to before they potentially get removed from the, uh, like the demos get taken down from the store tomorrow at the end of the Steam Next Fest. Some games will stay up. Some developers do leave them up after they've put them up, but many of them take them back down. Still not sure why, really, but uh, yeah, let's let's dive into this one. It looked really, really cute. Um, I'm going to turn the audio up quite a lot. I can't really hear anything now. We'll just jump in. This one looks absolutely gorgeous. The essence that was born when the rain kissed the rock. You see what I'm talking about? Ooh. I can, uh, can I move around? No, just... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's arrows. Ooh. Arrow keys. I was using wazd. So maybe no mouse here. Very cute. God, it's just... Uh, I really like the depth as well. Like, it's like they've got the different, the different layers of objects. Really creates this great feeling. Okay, let's move on down here, I guess. We have legs, though. We are not a mermaid. I thought we were a mermaid. But we do seem to have normal legs. Hi, little tear. Your name is Nayad, guardian of this river. Here begins your great journey. Don't be afraid, I will always take care of you. I can't get over how good it looks. It's insanely nice looking. Okay. Keep going down. Don't bang your head. <gasps> Just the palette and everything. The different blues and, and, and greens and shades of everything. I don't know, man. This is very relaxing already. F to dive, so we can get under. Ah, our head is out of the water. Yeah, I see now, like our face is poking out. Okay. So we can't breathe underwater, potentially, right? We need to go down. It's not easy to control. It's not very easy to control. Oh, and we're out. Oh, this duck can't get to his mum. Is he going to follow us? I think he's following us. Alright, let's take you around. Come on, you. Come on, keep up. Cute little duckling. Um, I tell you what, ducklings are super cute. But I saw... I don't even want to... I don't even know if I should tell the story. It's, it's very depressing. But I saw something I never... Oh, you have gathered all the ducks. I saw something several years ago, probably five or six years ago now, that has changed my outlook on life forever. And it was, uh, I was just walking down. I used to live near a canal. I used to live right on a canal, basically. Um, and I was just going for a walk one day. I was actually playing Ingress in all likelihood. I used to play a lot of Ingress uh, from the creators of Pokemon Go and whatnot. Um, and on my way to one of the portals, D to dash. Hold and release. Okay, so it just does a little burst speed. Maybe to go against a current. Um, but what happened was I saw there was a, there was a, it's a frog there. There was a mama. Oh, there was a mama, mama, mama duck. Can I chase this frog or something? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think the frog's doing anything. Oh, it's chasing us a little bit. No, he's off. Um, there was a mama duck and some some of her ducklings, right, following her. And uh. One of them 
just was up near her, just the closest one to her. There were about five or six, and they were just around her, and one of them was up near her, and she just grabbed it and pushed it under the water and just <laughs> under the water uh, and drowned it. That's uh, that's S to sing. We sing and move. I don't think it does anything right now. Oh, there's another f fish we haven't gotten down here yet. Now we have all of them. Uh, and yeah, and drowned the duckling. And then I looked online. What the hell just did, did I just see? Um, and apparently that's kind of common. It's, it's not uncommon for a mama duck to drown her ducklings if she thinks that she can't provide for them or there's like too many of them basically to... <laughs> she like drowns the weakest ones or the slowest ones or... Oh my god, I, I, I couldn't believe what I was reading. Uh, yeah, and I just saw this, this duckling get drowned and I was watching it like... What is she doing? Is she like punishing him for like doing... I don't know, like not swimming properly or something and then it just didn't come back up. Uh, and then she lifted her head up, and I turned around to see if anybody else had seen that, and this woman was with me, uh, was was just a couple of feet away from me. And we both looked at each other, just like, completely wordless, just like, what the hell have we just witnessed? It was the darkest thing I've ever seen. It was awful. Really, really awful. And, uh, yeah, completely changed. Rest under the light rays to grow your vitality. Yeah, I've, I, I've never looked at them the same. I absolutely love them. So cute. And we used to see ducklings all the time as well. And that was just abysmal. I changed my hair color. Is that only if I sing or only if... Yeah. But if I rest here... It says I grow my vitality, but I don't really see what's going on. We have more fish following us. I'm sorry to have to tell you that story. It's, uh... Yeah, it's quite disturbing. Just hope you never see it in real life. Is that another fish? Is that a leaf? It's a, it's a fish. Okay. We are collecting all the fish. What about this butterfly? Do you want to follow us? Yeah, let's get everybody. Hopefully we didn't need that frog to follow us. He, he, he seemed pretty reluctant. Um, but another thing that can happen, God, I'm really being a downer, uh, we've played this absolutely gorgeous game, but, uh, we often saw a couple, like, several ducklings swimming up and down the canal, they swim one, one way and then they'd swim back up, just kind of aimless, the source from which the forgotten flowers sprout, and, uh, and I was like, okay, where's the mama, right? And then I looked online again, did some research, and it turns out if the mom doesn't come back for whatever reason, either dies um, or abandons them because can't provide for them or whatever, the ducklings just wander around aimlessly. They don't know how to feed themselves. They don't know how to survive. And they just slowly, one by one, Kind of perish and it was oh my god i've seen that as well several times that wasn't very nice either because you'd see you see them and you're just like oh i just want to take them all home but there can be like eight or nine of them can't take all of them home what are you gonna do just oh and they won you can't get like a new mum for them you can't like tell anybody they're just like yeah it just happens there's i mean they're not like endangered or anything it's not like people are going to come and protect them the duck explores in its infinite curiosity the trail loses. Can we go under here or something? I don't know what we're doing. But yeah, there, uh... There we go. We found one. So yeah, let's hope this mama is nice to her ducklings here. I think this game's a little nicer than real life. You have gathered all the ducks! Oh, yeah. Well, uh, to finish that story off, 
uh, we were walking along the canal, and as we got further and further down, we did see a duck that was dead in the water. Uh, that we could only assume was the mother of the ducklings, so we knew that they weren't going to get any help. Looked online to see if, like, uh, you know, there's any preservation or anybody that could come and help them or whatever, but just everyone was like, they're ducks, they're not. Oh my god, I'm breaking my own heart. Oh, look. This little plant, it looks kind of sad. Song for a sad flower. That's one duck. Oh, you've gathered all the ducks again. So this game is really just kind of open. We can kind of just do whatever we want. We're just... Song for a sad flower. Do we need a different color? Um, maybe we need to go into the light or whatever and, and get a different color song somewhere. Oh, if we do this enough, we can actually dash. Oh, that's how we gain speed. I thought it just meant... You know, I thought... I thought it just meant hold D and you can do like a little dash, but no, I guess you tap D, basically. So now we're also restoring the flowers. Yeah, but it's very open. It's just very kind of relaxing. We're not doing very much, but it's nice to just be a part. The plant listens. Its leaves sprout in quiet dances. We're out of here, fish. Fishes. I'm going to get you little fishies. There's a duck over there. The fish don't seem to matter to the story much. This frog doesn't seem to do much either. It's just you can kind of interact with them. But that's that's it, I suppose. They're just like... They just follow us around. But the main thing seem to be the ducks and the plants. Come on, little fish. There you go, little frog. Have a bit of a song. Hey, there's the mama. Duck! Do I need to push this out here? Ah, yeah, look at that. You can make it through here now. Some ducks are still lost. We have to find them then. Okay. All these duck mothers are not very good. Come on. Come on, little one. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, it went away. I think it lost us. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, follow me. Going a bit too fast for you. Nayad, this game is called. N I A I A D. I'm not sure what that means. Some kind of water. Hey! Uh, oh. Kind of water creature? Like a, a... A dryad? Like a... Uh. You can get some speed going. But we're still in generally pretty... Lackluster for what we're, what's going on. But now we can change... Rest in the light again or something. Not really sure what it does. I know that it changes the colours of our hair or whatever. I'm just not really sure what that means. Lowing is an art. Okay. Combine different types of movements to make your path into an expression of beauty. 
leaps of happiness. Oh yeah, I want to go down here. Ooh. Let's get these fish. Come on. Games like this are strange. Because they're very hard to kind of recommend or anything to anybody or, or really like judge in any way because they are just com they're mechanically well, whatever you know what I mean that's completely not the point some games are made just to be a lot of fun um, and so the mechanics are very important there but games like this where the mechanics are clearly not the uh, priority but the the, just the joy of being in this weird place and relaxing in the with the beautiful artwork and stuff is uh I think this guy has lost his flute. Let's take it back to him. With our head. We're not very good with our hands, so um uh, what did what happened there? Oh, if you if you dash you also put your head under the water. Come here, little boy. Don't worry, here's your flute. Oh. You reached it. Okay. Play it. Yes! You see what I mean? It's just like, uh, you just enjoy being here, is the point. The path captivates, splashed with flowers, the naive stranger. They're all off, all the fish. Let's go. Together. Episode three, the lethargy of the trees that didn't want to wake up. I'm sure we're near the end of this. I'm sure it can't be very long. Games like this in general can, uh, tend to be short because then eventually, you know, the, eventually the, the the kind of mechanics will grind, will grind on you. Come on, save you. Get out of here. Come on. Hey, you know what? You, come on. You know what to do. Come on. Follow me. Well, in that case, you want to go out this way. Come on, you big pain in the butt. Follow me. Hey. Come on, duckling. You're being very silly now. There we are. You see? You weren't trapped. The branches holds the high dome of... Rutilated. To me. Retilated. I do not know that word. Come on. Yeah, around here. You've got it. Go back to your mama. And hope that she loves you. <laughs> I wonder if the frogs scare the ducks away or something. I don't when they jump at them, I don't know. Come on. Ah! Or if they're just being silly. You have gathered all the ducks. This entire game. You have gathered all the ducks. Oh, you can hold D to dash like a like a mermaid. What was I? But you've got you've got to hold the direction and D at the same time. Oh, that's so much nicer. And you can sing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't checking for bushes, I was just enjoying swimming around with my new bound super speed. It's over here. Come on, little fish. Little bird up there. Okay.
We'll go around and see if we missed anything. Or oh, anybody? Miss, miss any bushes? Miss any fish that we want to pick up? No, it's very steady. It's very calm and relaxing, isn't it, really? This is just what I needed. This is the first of, of several demos that I'm going to be playing, like, now. <laughs> on, like, off stream to catch up on some of these games that I really didn't want to... To miss the opportunity to, to try or make videos of and just you know just give give the demo a little test so this is the first one this is exactly what i needed to be honest hey you i found you follow me <gasps> that, is that like a moose and a fox or something seem like they're friends or is that a really young deer um i don't see your mom anywhere little guy so we're gonna have to move on down here I think she's further ahead come on stay with me there we are just ahead just ahead I can't swim too fast Follow my voice, my beautiful singing voice. Ooh, very nice. You can help me do my uh, my like river guardian work and tag along. Hi, Neen. Neen. New essence discovered. The scent of the memories. I wonder what that means. Does that mean my hair colour can change to that or whatever? Like the sound and the hair colour. We still got a long way to go, eh? God, you really got lost. There's another one. Right, bear with me. We're gonna have to get you both out of here. Come on. Ooh, no. I think we might have to sneak in here. If you could wait there, though, I'd very much appreciate that. No, we can't do this. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Can I can I actually squeeze you out of this little gap here? Will you actually follow me? You will, I think. Come on. Oh, you you're both brilliant. Come on. Little cuties. Yes, yes, yes. I have to say though, the movement and stuff, it is. It's a little awkward. I think I did prefer games like games like this, like Flower, is a really good one. It's a, a, a popular one for some point. Some ducks are still lost. They must be up ahead. I will be right back, madam, with your little duckling. Come on, you. Let's go up and around. Flower was a really good one. Um... Blow, I wasn't as big a fan of. You have gathered all the ducks! But games that are just about helping and just enjoying a place and relaxing. Oh, I'm yawning now. It got me. The music's very nice. But those ones felt very nice as well because you got to speed through an open location and go go a little bit crazy. This one's much more calm. Putting down trees. Oh dear. I mean, well, if you need it, just be careful. Don't cut down too many. Certain animals will come to the call. But bees? 
We need to pollinate because they're cutting down the trees. Come on, come on, bees. Follow me. Oh, we want the bees to sting the people away. Okay, that's a little bit mean. They do need the trees to build shelter. So that's kind of mean. We're just like, well, what happens when they go back and they don't have warmth for their babies, you know? Who's the bad guy now? Baby's freezing. Bait resolves in split heartbeats sooner than expected. Can live in harmony. You can you cut a tree down if you plant a tree. Right? That's the point. Give back what you use. Not just, hey, humans are the worst because they, you know, they <laughs> take things from the environment. They eat the fruit and they cut down the trees. That's not what it's all about, man. The cracks through which the light came to be color. It's really giving us a lot of this. I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't expect. You know what, now I can't, now I can't do, now I can't again, like speed. Last time I was holding it down. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. This is a weird dash. It is the D that is the weird dash. And you can't hold that. It's F that you can hold down and go really fast. Even though the F is just the one that ducks you under the water. So that's a bit strange, isn't it? That the F... I don't know why you would ever need the D if you've, if you've got the F key held down. Is this a little... Yeah. What about this bat? Are you going to follow me? I thought you might hear the sound. Yeah, 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 because you're a bat and you're blind. Come on. I think we might be able to help you out of here. The only thing I don't know what to do is how to engage with frogs. Frogs don't seem to make, they're just hopping along. Maybe you've got to try and get them to hop on the lily pads? Come on you. Guiding you through. What are we guiding this one through on like two? Do we think? A cave? Just out into the open air? What are bats like? They're like tunnels. Ooh, what about this? Thorn bush. Ooh. What was another one? One second, one second, but I will help you, but I've got to help the forest as well. Grow strong. The shadow guards in its deep echoes the roots of the past. Sing and bring it to me. Come on. Maybe if a tree, a, a fruit tree? Ooh, we're out in the open kind of now. What about this central area here? Is this where you want him to go? Can't say. I'm going to go a little bit ahead. Grow, grow, thistles. Look at that. Is that another butterfly I see here? Come follow me if you'd like. Let's go, babies. There's another one. 
Come on. I don't know where I'm supposed to drop this part off. Maybe you're not supposed to drop it off anyway. Maybe it's like the fish or the butterflies and they just kind of come along for the ride. It feels like I am though. It feels like I do have to guide it somewhere. Like it seemed trapped in there. We lost one of the fish. Sometimes the fish just wander off on their own. Do we let the butterflies catch up? I don't know if we need to. I don't really know how it works. We're just trying to keep our little gang together. Hey, look, yeah, maybe we didn't have to do anything with the bat. We're out of here. Unless the bat comes with. Does not. All right. Strange, maybe there was something we had to do with the bat, but I, I didn't see it. I'm sure there's a lot of things to discover that you can do and how they interact. But I think we're coming over to the end now. Coming up on the end. Can't give us another chapter. Being in this part of the forest, though, where it's a little bit darker, you know, it's thistles and there's thorns and the wilderness is a little bit harsher. There's a part in Flower. Well, you should play Flower. It was it was free on PlayStation for a very long time. On, on like it was it's been on PlayStation Plus so many times and stuff. I'm sure it's incredibly incredibly cheap, if not free, on the start. Oh, the bear. I'm a bear. She's slamming the ground, I'm not really sure why. Let's see if we can find something. Nope. Don't go! Oh, I was gonna spin around. Oh, damn. I was gonna spin around and try and sing with her. Sing her for her, but I suppose we don't get that chance. But yeah, flower kind of evolves, because you're just in the middle of a field at the beginning, but then. Because uh, you're a petal. And you fly over a field collecting more petals, basically like your your air, and you're like pollinating a field. And then the next part, you've got to pollinate. Um, you're like a plant on somebody's window, but then there's like a forest fire and you've got to get through and stuff, and it's a really like wonderful thing, uh, wonderful little experience. I wonder how this game will like do the same like how does it evolve does it actually tell a story or is it just just to relax there's a lot of, like footprints those like foot dinosaur shaped footprints Alright, I guess we're out of here again. Some areas don't seem to have anything. There must be some secret to it. Episode 5. I don't think we want to play any more of this. I think it's very it's very clear what's going on, and I have a lot of other games to get through. It's cute, for sure, but I don't think we need to go any further. Like what what else are we gonna get shown how to do? We're really just kind of... The light feels so good here. I really love these creatures. They look like... Uh, so much like me. What? Now I would like to rest a little. But... We will continue the journey very soon. Don't go too far, Nayad. Well, I guess that's the end of the demo. No? Oh. Good job, we did just do that little last bit. Created with love by a single person. Nyad will be released on PC and console soon. I mean, yeah, it's, it is definitely more of an experience than it is, uh, like, a, you know, a video game, let's say. It's, it's a game, but you're not 
challenged like that in any way. It's not a classic kind of game. You're just enjoying being in this place. I just hope that it does manage to tell a story with it at the same time. Like I said, uh, there are other games that do that. Um, some of them are incredibly good at what they do, and some of them, you know, they, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Uh, I just hope that it does find something to say. It's nice when a game like that makes you feel something when you're playing it, but then it also has a, a profound message behind it. And it doesn't need to, you know, it can just be relaxing for the sake of being relaxing, but it's always nice to have that when they pull on your heartstrings a little bit. That's Nyad. That's Nyad. Check it out for yourself. If it's still available.